Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. I want to do a video on the Nashville Predators and basically talking about certain trades they can make as the trade deadline nears. You're hearing a lot of trade rumors uh, circulating around this team and certain players being linked to the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens. So I kind of want to do a video involving these three teams and mention a couple more as well as... Um, you know, they came out and said that um, they're listening to offers on all players, not named Roman Yossi, Pekka Rene, and Ryan Ellis. These are the untouchables. Anyone else, including Forsberg and Fabry, are open for discussion. And the way the year's going this year, the Predators are looking like they're going to be sellers come the, the April 12th uh, trade deadline. They're currently sitting 7th in the division. You know, their goals for and goals against are both 27th out of 31, so... They're having problems keeping the puck out and putting the puck in the net. So um, it's going to be a tough year to crack the top four in the division, especially for this team. Uh, had a lot of promise going into this year, but um, you know a lot of players aren't living up to their contracts. Uh, Johansson and Duchesne especially, they're having uh, predominantly bad years. Um, you know they have Their contract currently sits with a lot of term and a high dollar amount, so it's going to be uh, hard, co hard contracts to move, especially with the flat cap. Uh, Gary Bettman coming out and saying that the next four years could be a flat cap. So um, you're going to see a lot of little movement this trade deadline. I don't think we're going to see these massive trades with these big contracts um, unless it's dollars out, dollars in sort of case. But, um, you know, I think it's going to be a lot of UFAs that get moved, a lot of contracts that have short term on it. So I want to include some of, some of the players on the Predators with, with talking about that. So, Mikhail Granlin is a UFA. I see him as a good uh, trade for the Predators. Eric Halla could bring back something. He's a UFA. Matthias Ekholm, you're hearing a lot of chatter about, so I'm going to include him being linked to a couple of teams later in the video. Uh, he's got two years left on his deal. You have Philip Forsberg, two years left on his deal, and he could attract a lot of interest. If the Nashville Predators are looking to trade him, which, you know, he's in the prime of his career. He's 26 years old. I don't see him moving unless it's a trade that blows Nashville out of the water. Um, I think it's going to be a, um, it's got to be a solid win on the trade to move him because this guy is just a phenomenal player and um, he can help any team out as they're nearing the, as they're trying to approach the playoffs. So I'm going to link him to a trade. I'll talk about that in a bit. But, um, you know, Victor Arvidsson's another one. He's got four years left on his deal at $4.25 million. Uh, he's got, his contract is until 2024. So, He's one of those players that, you know, this contract has a lot of years on, uh, 4.25. You know, it's it's a decent amount for what he does. But, um, you know, he's definitely that type of player that can play. Uh, he's a versatile winger. He can play up and down the lineup. He adds that grit and sandpaper that any team would need. So he'd be an interesting person that any team looking to get into the playoffs and make a long run, he's that type of player that's perfect for it. So, um those are the players that I could see definitely being traded from the National Predators. Um, again, they're open for trades on anybody. There could be trades with um, other players as well, but these are the ones you're hearing a lot of chatter about. You know, I've heard Granlin and Arvidsson being linked to the Leafs. Uh, I've done a video on Granlin. I'm going to link both of my Leafs videos at the end because, um, you know, there's a lot of rumors going around about the Toronto Maple Leafs, and it's constantly every day, daily, you're hearing different names being thrown around, and... You know, every name that they're saying kind of makes sense. You know, I've heard rumors of the ones I've included in those videos. Uh, Paul Mary, Ayafalo, Raquel. Um, you know, there's just a lot of different players that can be linked. Stall, a lot of players that are linked to the, to the Leafs. So um, in this video, I want to talk about uh, Forsberg. I think Forsberg is an interesting option to the Leafs. You heard this rumor going around a couple of, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago. But um, it's kind of resurfacing, and you're kind of hearing it a little more. So Elliot Freeman reported that the Leafs have made an offer on Forsberg. They're looking to find a winger to play with uh, Tavares and Nylander. So can you picture, as a Leaf fan, a line with Forsberg, Tavares, and Nylander? That's just scary to think about on paper. So I can imagine them playing on the ice. You know, I know, I know a lot of Leaf fans are saying, we don't need another score, we have enough scoring, but... Forsberg adds a lot to a team. You know, he's a perennial goal scorer. His play away from the puck is phenomenal. So he's definitely one of those players that take aways. Um, you know, just playing away from the puck, he plays a good game. And, um, you know, he was very instrumental in their long run in the playoffs when uh, a couple of years ago when Nashville went. So, um, you know, he's a playoff performer. 
He can score. He can play good a good two way game. So I think he'd be a good fit for the Leafs if they're looking to go that route. If this is the Le- if this is the year that the Leafs are all in, and I say this in all of my Leafs trade videos, if this is the year that they're all in, they should do it. They really should. So what is it going to take? It's probably you're hearing the same names that are being rumored around: uh, Kerfoot, uh, you know, Lilligren if they're looking to add a prospect, uh, a first round pick. You know, you're looking at sort of a package like that. If they can do any trade that doesn't give away Robertson or Amirov, you know, I, I'm in for. It. So, um, you know, this the Leafs are close. They really are. I think they have a really good shot at taking it this year. Um, you see a lot of Stanley Cup winners doing that. That year that they they know that they're they have a legitimate shot. They go all in and they make that trade. So I think Forsberg would do it. It's not like you're hedging a bet on a um, old player. He's 26. He's in the prime of his career. He has an extra year on his deal. Currently making six million. You know how Dubas likes to acquire players with that extra year instead of going for just a rental. So I think it'd be a good trade. I really do. I think Forsberg adds a lot, not just goal scoring to the team, and I think he could help in a multitude of ways. So that would really set up their top six. I know they have a, a deadly top six now, but just picturing Forsberg in that lineup is just insane. So um, you know, Leaf fans, comment below what you think about this. Do you think? Is he the route you'd want to go? You're hearing the trade rumors of Felino and Jenner uh, going around today as well. So um, that's another interesting option. I love Felino for this team if they could add him. But Felino's not making much less than Forsberg. So just think about it that way too. What would you rather have? An extra goal scorer in case some of your goal scorers in your team go flat? Or would you want to add a player of that has that sandpaper, has that grit, which they, which they could use a lot of on this team? So... Very interesting to see what the Leafs do as they enter the trade deadline and make this move that they're talking about soon. So stay tuned. And the other one I wanted to talk about was, according to Elliot Freeman, um, the asking price came out for Matthias Ekholm. You're hearing his uh, name come out a lot. Uh, a lot of teams are looking for that good, uh, you know, good top four defenseman, and Matthias Ekholm offers that. So, um, you know, he believes that the asking price it has come out and said that it's a first rounder and two prospects. Which is in a line for, you know, a good defenseman like that that logs heavy minutes, that can, you know, add production, you know, points. Uh, he's got a good shot. He plays a good all-around game. He's a workhorse. He's a great defenseman that can help a team win. So, um, you know, he believes that the Jets, the Bruins, the Maple Leafs, the Flyers, and the Canadians are all interested in uh, an Ekholm. And, um, you know, they said that the Canadians are at the top of that. You know, they out of all these teams you're looking at, they're definitely one of those teams that can offer that first round pick and those two prospects. So if they can not include Romanov, if they cannot include Gooley, if they cannot include Caulfield, I'd say do it. You know, the Canadians have a good team with Sherrod going down for an extended period of time. I think this is an excellent opportunity to bring in a defenseman like Ekholm. Um, they're, they're experimenting with the Romanov and Weber you know, lining and um, you know, pairing, and I think Ekholm and uh, Weber would make a dynamic pairing. So this is interesting. It really is. I think these two trades make a lot of sense for these teams as they're trying to get into the top four in their division. Um, yeah, so comment below what you think about this. If you're a Canadiens fan, would you want to add Ekholm to the team? If you're a Leafs fan, would you want to add Forsberg, or would you want to go the safer route? You know the Leafs are going to have to trade out some co- some money to to bring some uh, to bring in a player like um, Forsberg. You know with six million, if Nashville can retain some of that money and they can move Kerfoot and some other players out, be interesting to see what happens. So Leaf fans, what do you think about that trade? Would you want Forsberg on your team? And Predator fans, how do you feel? You know I know this is going to be this has been a very unconventional year. I know um, you know you're looking at the trade deadline to try to acquire some assets for the future. Comment below what you feel about this. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.